How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the 45 Home Lab YouTube channel. I'm Zach Perry and very excited today to dive into Proxmox Helper Script. So this is something that I've heard about for years, but honestly I've never used them. And now that I spent the last week using them, deploying them, breaking them, I have to say, I wish I'd done this a long time ago. So one of the best parts about making these home lab videos is I get to explore tools and ideas that I've always meant to learn, you know, those eventually projects, but eventually became last week into this week for this specific project. Now, for a little bit of context about how overdue this is, I've been part of the 45 Drives Enterprise Service Team since October 19th, 2020. For that, I was a warehouse manager at a furniture store, no IT experience. So back when I started here, I asked my manager if I could buy some old components we had laying around in the lab, build a Proxmox server to learn as much as I could in my free time. He spoke with the head of R&D and Doug Milburn, one of the founders slash owners of 45 Drives. My manager came to me near end of day, said, come to the lab. Me here thinking I'm getting fired. The head of R&D walking behind me said, we spoke to Doug, told him what you wanted to do. He said, give him what he needs, no charge. And that was the beginning of my home lab journey and my beginning with Proxmox. Now, fast forward to today, I've been running that same hardware since November 2020, way before we even had the repository that we'll be referencing today, as far as I can tell at least. <laughs> and the fact that I haven't been using this collection of scripts, honestly, it's a shame. These helper scripts, they've been around since at least August 2021, and they would have made testing, breaking, making mistakes, learning from them a lot easier. So in today's video, part one of a two-part series, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the Proxmox helper scripts. And main topics we're gonna to cover are what they are exactly, what problems they solve, and why you might wanna start using them in your own home lab or production environment. We'll be working with the new HL15 2.0, which is a serious upgrade. I can't even tell you how much of a serious upgrade over what I run at home. And it's the perfect environment to demonstrate these scripts. Like we did with the Portainer video, part two, will be more of a hands-on, but for Tay, it's all about exploring what's possible with this amazing tool set. Now, the Proxmox helper scripts are a community-developed collection of bash scripts designed to simplify and automate common Proxmox tasks. They're hosted on GitHub by the user ttech, apologies how I'm mispronouncing, and they offer quick, repeatable ways to perform things like installing popular containers and VMs, using LXC templates, uh, tuning system settings, configuring network options, managing backups and snapshots, deploying software and tools, and applying recommended Proxmox tweaks for better performance and compatibility. You don't need to manually type out long commands or copy paste lines from forums. The scripts do the heavy lifting with clean menus and options. If you spend time configuring Proxmox, you know the setup process can get repetitive, especially when spinning up new LXC containers or VMs, installing software that has quirks or special dependencies, needing to apply tweaks for GPU pass-through, kernel settings, or storage performance. While they save time, Proxmox, of course, has built-in ways to make things more efficient, like leveraging templates after you initially build the VM or LXC. The helper scripts, they solve these problems by removing the guesswork. Instead of Googling commands or digging through documentation, you can launch a script, walk through uh, the menu-driven installer, and you know it's been tested, used by thousands of home labbers. Whether you're managing a home lab or even a small production setup, these scripts, one, they save time by automating multi-step uh, tasks. Who doesn't love that? Reduce errors, especially for new users who are still learning Proxmox or how Proxmox works. Standardize installs, which is great if you're setting up multiple nodes or testing configs. And my biggest reason, helping to learn. So because the scripts are readable bash code, you can actually inspect and modify them. Even if you don't rely on them daily, they're a great set of tools to have in your toolkit, especially when you're rebuilding or testing something new. So whether you're brand new to Proxmox or you've been using it for years, these scripts can help you to, do, to get more done with less effort and help you avoid you know, common pitfalls. Now let's look around and get familiar with this site's content because I'm a big fan of how it's laid out. First up, let's go to the bottom just to highlight the FAQ section. Then we'll make a way back up and let's actually see what scripts there are. You can see we have 363 total scripts at the time of recording, broken down in over two dozen categories, everything from full OXs and LXCs to web servers, AI tools, monitoring, and much, much more. And each script is broken down to a category, saying if it's an add-on like tail scale, 
PVE, which directly affects uh, the way a node runs, like for cleaning orf orphaned LVMs, and lastly, deploying LXCs and VMs. We can also get more information by viewing them directly or going to the GitHub page for them, viewing additional documentation and more. So while this is great, uh, a great repository of scripts, like I always say, inspect before you run. Uh, it even says that at the bottom of the page here when you hit copy. And now the last thing I'll point out is this little button up top here. It'll open a random script. So I decided to take it for a spin and I got Habitica. I can never pronounce that right. Habitica. But, which is a productivity app that adds game mechanics to things like completed tasks. I actually used this a number of years ago on my phone and it was interesting to see that it was on this website to deploy onto my Proxmox system. So in part two, we'll actually walk through installing a few LXC containers, how the scripts work in real time, share some tips that'll make your life a whole lot easier. I think we've hit a good stopping point for today. We've covered a lot, but in the next video, we're gonna go over some of the helper scripts in detail to highlight the wide net of things they can do. We'll take a look at one of the scripts under the hood to see exactly what it's doing. And lastly, we'll maybe, maybe, get to watch me fumble while I attempt to create my own helper script. And so what did you all think? Anything you wanna see in the next video related to this topic? Have you been using these helper scripts? If so, which have you deployed? Which do you currently use? If you wanna see everything we have on offer, hop on over to the store.45homelab.com website. Below, you'll find a link to the official Proxmox helper script site, along with links to all of our socials. Once again, I'm Zach Perry. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you all in the next video. See you now. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it as always.